y'all it's your girl jazz from jazz on the well tv and welcome back to my channel today we are doing something a little different i never did a video with like me standing up or whatever but i like this like i'm i'm free to move like i could do what I, I could do what i want so yeah story time today's story is about the time i was friends with the grand phone thief y'all probably like what Yes, I was friends with the phone thief, the famous phone thief that was going around at my camp. So let's get to it. So, when I was younger, I was maybe like in middle school, I went to a summer camp. And this camp was a Christian camp. A Christian camp, and well, there's nothing Christian about that camp, but that's a whole different story. But anyway... I went to a Christian camp and it was at the rec center around the street, around the street, around the corner from my house. So at this camp in the mornings, the girls would be divided with the girls and we would dance and the boys would be divided with boys and do basketball, which is kind of sexist if you think about it. Like why did the girls have to dance? Like it'd be little tomboy girls that were in dance class hating it and wish they were with the boys with the basketball, but they would split us up and wouldn't let us like be together in the morning it was dumb whatever but I was I didn't care I'd rather have danced than play basketball so whatever so yeah the dance room was in the room with our lunch boxes and our backpacks and our bags and all that stuff so um after dance I think after dance you know we're tired we're thirsty we're hungry we need a snack so we would go get our food and stuff and whatever snack on it a little bit and when one girl went over there, she was like, My phone is missing! Ah, oh my god! My phone is missing! Somebody, please! Somebody, help! Me! And I was just like, Oh god! Like, you know, like, me, I was kind of responsible as a child. I barely lost my phone. I barely lost anything of value. The more I'm saying it, the more I'm starting to remember things that I lost. But I, I was really good compared to some other kids who, like, lost everything. Like, I made sure I had, like, my phone, my retainer, my iPod. Like, I, I really tried not to lose that stuff. So, I'm thinking, when she's saying somebody took it, I'm thinking she lost it or misplaced it, whatever. Because I'm like, you know, we in a holy holy Christian camp full of these Christian children as myself and the rest of my peers who would steal a phone at a Christian camp you know what I mean make sure my zipper on there so you know she complained of her phone missing and you know how counselors be they act like they looking for the phone but then at the same time they say well you're responsible for all your belongings we tell y'all to bring the phone blah 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 blase blase so I'm like damn no Another phone gone in the wind. You know what I mean? Just like, it's gone. It's gone, homegirl. We ain't gonna spend all day looking for you. You, you. you shouldn't have lost it. So, about 15 minutes later, somebody else comes up and they said they lost their phone or their phone's not in their bag. And I'm like, damn, what is wrong with y'all? <laughs> like, why are y'all losing your phone? Like, I don't think nobody is taking it at this point. I'm just like, damn, this is a... It's a bad day for the cell phones out here. Like, what is wrong with y'all? Like, put it in your bag. Like, what are y'all doing? Y'all was probably having it out when y'all shouldn't have been. And now you've been lost it. And, or maybe you didn't left it and left it out. And maybe somebody did take it. But, you know, they're like, they're like, no, it's not in my bag. Like, somebody took it. It was in my bag. Ah. So, I'm just like, oh, Lord. Like, stuff like Stuff like that bothered me as a child when people were just like complaining or people were like yelling or people were just fussing. I hated fuss. I hated fuss when it was something that you were supposed to be responsible for. I, I hated ruckus. So I'm just like jeez Louise man like what's wrong with y'all? So, so then all of a sudden like more people started coming to their like bags. They were just like their phone is missing. And then what caught me off guard and what kind of thought like when I started like thinking, okay, something is going on. It was these two twins that went there and then both of their phones ended up missing like at the same time. And it's like, okay, okay, something, something is up. And so meanwhile, this is stirring up crazy, crazy mess. Like all these girls' phones is missing. Like what, what's going on? Why, why is the girls' phones missing? So I'm like, dang y'all. 
Sucks to be y'all, but I know my phone is in my bag because I ain't take it out. I ain't leave it out on the tables like y'all probably did when y'all wasn't supposed to be on there. I was a good girl. They said no phones. It was no phones. So I left my phone in my bag. So, you know, I'm walking over, getting my snack, about to just like look at my phone, see what time it is. And I'm like, you know, going through it. Mm, Apple, bike, bite my Apple and whatnot. And then like I'm going to my pocket. I was like, oh. oh, heck no, okay? I look, and I'm like, I know I put my phone in this pocket. I'm not trying to be like them, like, like really, though. No. Like, I take out my phone and, like, leave it. Like, my phone really not in the pocket that it says in, well, that I know that it was in when I came to camp today. So I'm looking in the other bag, and now at this point, I'm just, like, Raising all hell because I cannot find my phone and this is when I knew there was a thief Isn't that sad like it has to happen to me to start believing all these other people that like somebody's taking their phones But I kind of knew after a while when it was like maybe like the third person or the fourth person or when both of the twins phones was missing That's when I started thinking it, but I'm like well They didn't touch my phone until I go over to my bag and they touched my phone. So now it's a problem now I'm sorry, my dog scared me. Now I'm going crazy. So, this point, I'm like, oh yeah, somebody just stole my phone. They still are all of my phones, y'all. What we going to do? And of course, now the counselors are in it now because now it's more than one person's phone. <clears throat> it's like six of our phones are missing, and that's crazy. So it's like, now they have to do something about it because now we got a thief. Now we got somebody that can't keep their hands off of other people's belongings, and we need to figure out what the heck is going on because our mamas and daddies didn't buy our little sprint phones and our little flip phones and our little um what's that thing by t-mobile sidekick phones for somebody to be taking them so now it's an investigation now they got all of us in the gym together where the boys were playing basketball and we're all sitting down wondering what the heck is going on and who has our phones okay so you know, we sitting in there, all the, I was friends with basically everybody there, cause you know, yeah. Raleigh! Anyway, <clears throat> now we're all sitting in the gym, you know, I'm friends with everybody because you know, I'm yeah, it's like, I'm likable, everybody loved me. I was friends with everyone. So, at camp, just at camp, school is a different story, but camp, they were my dogs, they were my friends. So, um, <clears throat> So yeah, everybody's like, they think it's this one girl. She wasn't really cool with nobody. They kind of picked on her. They thought she was ugly, and that's mean. That's really mean. Like, come on. Uh, side note, again, we're at a Christian camp, calling people ugly and whatnot, and bullying and, and being mean to each other. Like, dang. Like, okay? So, <laughs> yeah. So, everyone's thinking it's this girl. We're going to call her... Keisha, okay, I was going to say a name, but I actually know a couple people named the other name that I was going to say, so that's why I kind of stumbled, I was like, I don't want to name her that, because then, you know, anyway, so we're going to name her Tisha, we're going to name her Tisha, okay, so we're going to name her Tisha, so, everyone was picking on Tisha, they like, Tisha did it, we know she did it, she don't got no phone, that's why she did it, look at her, that's like, she, like, I don't even, did we wear uniforms? We didn't, not uniforms, but like a camp t-shirt, but I don't think we did. Yes, Riley. Anyway, but yeah, I don't think we did, so, you know, her, her clothes wouldn't be the most fashionable or the most in or the most stylish, but you know, like, to each his own. So they'd be like, look at her, you know she don't got no phone. Look at her, she, na, 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 na. she took that phone, we know it. And once somebody was like, I saw her take the phone. And basically, she was the one that was always picked on, so she was the one getting blamed right now. So, I felt bad. Me, in any situation, at camp and at school, I was mostly friends. I was friends with the cool people, but I was also, like, I clicked with the people who were picked on, or the people who didn't have so much friends, or the people that weren't that popular. Like, it's crazy, because I always had, like, a click or a connection, or I was friends with them, too. You know what I mean? Like, I had either class with them or something like that for me to be around them and for me to get to know them, to know they're not that bad of a person. And people just pick on them because kids are mean. So, 
yeah so now at this point Tisha is crying and I'm like oh girl don't listen to them Tisha don't listen to them Tisha like you know it's 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 you just you're just not that cool so everybody's gonna pickle you and everybody's gonna say that you did it I mean sorry but you know like like no nah, y'all and I'm, I'm up here trying to stick up for this girl I'm like y'all like leave Tisha alone like Tisha ain't do that. Like, sweet old little Tisha. Like, it's bad enough we pick on her every- well, I didn't pick on her. It's bad enough that y'all pick on Tisha every day. Like, dang, y'all, give the, give the girl a break. Tisha ain't do it. Y'all got her crying over here and all that other stuff. It's like, dang, give Tisha a break. So, at this point, Tisha's still crying. I'm like, Tisha, girl, don't worry about them. If you ain't do it, if you ain't do it, what you crying for? Like, you know what I mean? So, I'm like, girl, don't be crying because then it's going to look like you really did it for real. And I know you ain't do it because you ain't that kind of person, Tisha. Like, you know what I mean? Like, come on, Tisha, stop crying. Stop talking, stop, stop crying, Tisha. So, yeah, so she was crying to the counselor. And all the counselors came up like, I'm gonna need everyone to leave Tisha alone, okay? We're not making no accusations. We're not saying who did it. You don't know if Tisha did it, so therefore, we shouldn't be doing that. God wouldn't want you to da 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 blah blah blah. You know what I mean? Giving a lecture, giving a Christian preach. Because that's what these kids needed at this point, because they were being mean to Tisha. So, now that that was over, they sat us in the gym and they said, we ain't leaving until somebody confesses and said that they did it. And we like, oh, huh. I ain't trying to be up in here. It's still the morning time. It's still 10 and we don't get out of camp till like 4 or 5 o'clock. I ain't trying to do all that. I ain't still my phone. My phone missing. How come? Like, you know, why I got stuff and my phone the one that's gone? And me and Kelly and Sarah and Tierra and Aaliyah and... All of them, like, I actually named a couple people who <laughs> went to that camp. But anyway, so, yeah, so it's like, dang, like, all right, well, y'all better confess, because I want my phone. I think I had, like, the blue, I had some phone, I had, like, a blue rumor or something like that. Let's see if I can find a picture of what it looked like over here. But yeah, that was my phone. So, like, I, I want my phone back. Stop playing with me at this point. <laughs> so, we sit, and we sit, and we are sitting. It's ridiculous. So then, at this point, they're like, you know what? We gonna call the cops. And I was like, dang, no, don't call no cops. Me, I'm a scaredy cat. Like, I was, I was scaredy cat jazz, okay? So, I hear cops, and I'm like, oh my god. No, not the police. <laughs> I don't know why, because my phone was the one that was stolen. But anyway, so yeah. But I guess they not singling anybody out, because they can be like, well, like, you know, like, if, if, if it was me, like, maybe I would steal my phone and make it look like it wasn't me, you know? So maybe nobody whose phone was stolen was canceled out of the equation of them being the thief. So, so, yeah. So me and all my homegirls, we like, dang, this is crazy, y'all. Meanwhile, Tisha's still in the corner crying, whatever, whatever. I, we didn't forget about Tisha at this point. I'm like, dang, like, one of y'all up in here is the thief. Honestly, and it had to be a girl because... Only the girls was in the room. And I'm thinking, all these girls, they my homegirls. So I'm like, dang, one of y'all's a thief. And after this, we might have to meet outside. Because, you know, we might have to square up. Because you, you, you didn't took my phone at this point. I thought we was cool. I thought we was homegirls. <laughs> Psych. I wasn't like that. But but that's how I was feeling at the inside. But, yeah, I'm like, dang. Like, one of my homegirls, one of y'all standing right here in my face. And y'all telling me that y'all ain't steal the phone. And that y'all ain't a thief. Like, that's crazy. So, anyway. So, the police came. I'm like, oh. Hell, the police really came up here. I thought they was bluffing. So, they did. They came up there and they were interviewing us by groups. It was like by like eights or something like that. It was like 24 girls in the camp. It was a lot of us at that camp, okay? It's like 40 of us, so half of us was girls and half of us was boys. So, you know, um, oh, oh, I think while the police were here, I don't know, but at some point in time, somebody had went in the bathroom, and for some reason, I feel like it was me, but I don't think, was it me? I think it was me. Let me tell y'all how I'm a hero, okay? So, I think in the midst of the police being here, or the, before they got there, I wasn't being, like, interviewed by the police or nothing, so I was still out in the hallway. So, either way, um, I went to the bathroom. And I went into the big stall, like, I was rude, okay, obviously you're not supposed to use the handicapped bathroom if you're not handicapped, because what if somebody come in and they need that big bathroom, but I love the big space, I hate little baby stalls. So, I went inside, and, you know, doing my business, or whatnot, and I don't know, maybe this was God, I don't know, but 
someone told me to open up the little um sanitary disposal waste basket where you put like feminine stuff so i don't know what told me to go in there like i don't know like i don't know like <laughs> it was weird because i wasn't like on my period or nothing or it wasn't like i needed to discard anything but something told me to go in there i opened up that thing y'all why is my phone in there why is my phone in there uh, and it was my phone it wasn't everybody's phone because about eight of us and eight phones couldn't fit in that thing but my nice little blue bright phone was sitting right in there in a sanitary waste basket ew ew okay so i'm like ah, ah, i found the phones i found the phones i found the phone ew but it's in the basket somebody get that i'm not getting that i'm not getting that the thief need to come in here and come get that and then wash it then for might as well you know what just burn it give me a new phone so <laughs> yeah i found the phone i told the counselor i was like um the phones are in the um well some of my phones i don't I don't know what happened to the rest of y'all phones. I'm sure y'all probably found it, but I, I, I never got that side of the story. But some of our phones, including mine, is in that sanitary waste basket, and that's nasty, and somebody needs to come get that, and we need to figure out who did that right away, because now I'm here even more heated. Like, I'm glad I found my phone, but you gonna put it in there, you little nasty self? You gonna put it in that? Is that your way of hiding it? <sighs> I'm out of breath just thinking about it. So, you know, they like, okay, we found the phones, but we still need to figure out who this thief is. And the police was like here anyway, so they weren't gonna be like, oh, found the phones, okay, see y'all. I guess it was their way of like teaching us a lesson by interrogating us and all that whatnot. So, police are here. It's probably like a lady. I think it was ladies, like, cause I guess they knew it had to be a girl, so they brought like a girl cop to like talk to us and whatnot. So, they brought us in by eights. It's like 24 of us, so they had at least three sessions of us going in, talking to the police, and then the next session come in. So, I don't remember what sequence or when I went in, but I just know I went in. So, and I was in there with most of my homegirls. I don't know if Tisha was in my group. I think Tisha was in my group. So, Tisha was in our group, and most of my, my closest, closest homegirls were with me, too. So, we in there. Why am I scared? Like, why was I, like, upset? I was like, oh, my God, they got the police in here. What if they think I did it because I, because I found the phone? Do you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of crazy. Like, and, like, I was really nervous. I was just like. <sighs> <sighs> and they sitting there like, who did it? Like, you know, like, we, we're police. We're not, we not playing with y'all. Y'all not taking it seriously. If y'all know, if, like, they They're trying to scare us. They weren't going to obviously arrest all of us. But they, like, you, you know, know what? If. If nobody tells me in this camp shut down, y'all can't have it. Like, obviously, y'all don't appreciate being in this nice recreation center. We got a camp going on, and we got a steep. Like, that's not going to happen. So all of y'all going to get in trouble, and the camp is going to get shut down. And so at this point, we all like, yeah! Well, not all of us. We had some gangsters in the back. Like, well, it wasn't me, shoot, so do what you got to do. Me, me, I, 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 I'm, I'm a little more sensitive to things. I was a little more sensitive to things back then, so I'm just like, uh, not really crying, but I'm just like, uh, like, you, like, like, you know, like, feel like little nerves and jitters. Like, I didn't like the situation. I didn't like being put in that situation when I knew it wasn't me. Like, I didn't handle things under pressure well. Okay, so I, this was I was so uncomfortable. So, you know, they're like, all right, nobody saying nothing. Nobody, everyone saying, well, it wasn't me. So, like, you know, whatever. So they're like, okay, all right, y'all can leave for now and whatnot. And so we all sitting in the gym, and then we all sitting in there. I know this Tisha's not around. I'm like, okay, whatever. I didn't stop caring about Tisha at this point. Like, I try to look out for this girl, but she's still crying. She's been crying all day. Like, what the heck? So, <laughs> so um, we all sitting in the gym, and the council and the police walk up, and Tisha's in the middle of them. So it's like them three. I mean, these two. Like, they walking, and Tisha's just. <laughs> Like, and y'all probably like, of course it was Tisha, but honestly, y'all, she was like, I felt bad for her all day because she was crying because so many people were picking on her and saying that she was a thief. When there was really no reason for them to like say, I mean, obviously there was a reason. Maybe there was something that they knew that I didn't. But like, honestly, I just thought maybe she was just crying because she was tired of being picked on. Like, you, you guys know the severity of bullying these days. Kids really like go off the edge with 
being bullied and whatnot. So, you know, I've always felt bad for people. Like I said, I was more sensitive back then when I was a child. I felt bad for people. I, I hated being in uncomfortable situations. I just had a lot of feelings and I showed them. So, <laughs> so I'm thinking, dang, Tisha, y'all. I, like, like, I wanted to go up to her. Like, you know how, like, they, they let you, like, well, I don't know who does this, but, like, like when somebody getting arrested and they got that moment where they get to talk to somebody and before they end up leaving and going away. So like I wanted to go up to her like Tisha, yo. Yo, I was there for you, yo. It was me who was with you all along, yo. Like you 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 stole my phone, Tisha. You put it in the sanitary waste basket. I don't even know if that's what it's called, but that's what I call it. So you put it in the basket, Tisha? Wow. <laughs> wow, yo, you you ain't you you ain't Sugar honey iced tea. For real, like honestly, yo, like Deuces baby. Like I hope you rot in jail. I hope they 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 knock you up a couple times and smack smack baguette like all that. Like Tisha, you gotta go. Take her to jail. Take her to jail. I was the most livid one. Everyone else was like, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. whatever girl. At least I got my phone back. I'm pissed. I'm pissed because I was Tisha's friend. I stuck up for Tisha, like dang Tisha. Like, like, you already didn't have nothing going for you. Now you're going to make your reputation worse by stealing phones and my phone at that. Like, I was your girl. I was your homegirl. What were you going to do with all of my phones? Tisha. What, Tisha? And if you follow me on Instagram, if you have, like, reconnected with me somehow and I never knew it was you, I'm sorry. You probably know who I'm talking about. And for all my friends that went to um summer camp with me, y'all know what it was. Y'all know the deal. Tisha stole our phones, y'all, and I don't know where you at now, Tisha, but I hope you ain't stealing no phones no more. I hope you didn't got your, you just stepped your game up some, because you weren't that cute. You did look dusty, now that I think about it. Nah, because you stole all of our phones. And don't feel bad for her, just because, like, you know, people were picked on. She wasn't even picked on that bad. Maybe I exaggerated throughout the whole video, but honestly, when you start doing bad, now I don't feel for you. I don't feel bad for you. Now I mean, I'm going to join the bandwagon and start picking on you, but... You stole my phone and you put it in there with other tampons and nasty pads and that's nasty and I don't feel bad for you no more so deuces Tisha. <laughs> okay so that is the story on how I was friends with the grand phone thief okay. If y'all like this story time be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, like, subscribe, share with y'all friends. Have y'all ever been friends with a phone thief? Have y'all ever been friends with a thief? Or have y'all ever been put in a situation where somebody has stolen something and y'all about to get to the bottom of it? Or you've been accused of stealing, anything like that, comment down below and tell me what happened. Okay? Thanks for watching. I'm Jaslyn Noel from Jaslyn Noel TV. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe again. I always tell you guys twice just so you guys will know. And I will see y'all in my next video. Hey. See y'all later. Bye.